Oh, uh, this is a beta for my live cooking show, Shit Chef with Daffy. This is just the extra bonus for my stream because I'd rather play video games, but I have to fucking cook, so. I'm hardly hungry and I don't want to cook. I was doing a, a recorded video of it and I was like, oh, I could stream this probably, and then it took me a million years and I still haven't put the laundry in. <sighs> and the fridge is open. Oh god. That's wasteful. <clears throat> so, um. Oh man, the avocados! Oh my god! All right, onions, broccoli, portobello, avocado, rice. Those are our basic ingredients. I don't know if you heard me. We're also gonna use a serrano pepper. So I only need one. We'll do one, one. Oh, I have to plug my laptop in, because otherwise my screen will turn off the and I can't look at things on the stream. Okay, uh... There is a blank spot on the side, because I'm still figuring out how to put my chat... Oops. How to put my chat... There. I'm really hungry, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna stop wasting electricity. Let's see. Oh, I got some basil too. Is it good? Yeah, we'll use special basil. What's over here? Uh, chives. We'll use those too. Uh, ah, ah. Sour cream, where'd that come from? No. If you're hungry, eat food. Save the cows, eat the food though. Ah, all right. I'm gonna do laundry after I cook because I'm really fucking hungry and I want to do laundry and I want to nap and I just want to sleep. Ugh. Okay. Is that better? Is that better? All right, we're gonna just trying to figure out an angle. I'm gonna make my laptop a little higher up. Hmm. Very careful in the kitchen, there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of sharp shit. It's a dangerous place. Make sure that you have your space where you're going to be moving cleared of all obstacles. I have a small kitchen, but... But, yeah, see, obstacles are cleared. I have a safety line in front of the garbage, so I don't put my face in the garbage. <laughs> um, boop -a -doop. I should tweet this. Let's see. So, I heard, oh, let's see, that I'm going to be doing a giveaway tonight on stream, but that's when I play video games. Uh, I'm going to give away a Gamer X ticket. It's going to be a three-day all-access pass. Not all-access, I think it's general access? Yeah, general access pass. Which just gets you pretty much basically everything. I think you have to, like, you might have to, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I haven't been in GamerX in two years, so I'm just gonna attend via satellite. I think it's general access. Oh no! Yeah, general access. That's me. Pass. Ooh, yep, that's why I don't look at myself. I'm about to tell you what I'm cooking! Hello! Um, I'm just getting everything set up still. Hey, Sculpin! We're gonna make stir fry with leftover rice and some fresh veggies, but I need to make sure my I need to be able to see my camera so I can point at the stove. All right, stir fry. I learned how to make stir fry from my friend. Uh, he just is like, just throw all the stuff and it tastes good basically. He just made like slop and it's good. And I continue doing that, it's great. Once again, the ingredients are a portobello mushroom, a head of broccoli, basil, chives, and maybe an avocado and an onion. I want an onion. 
Which onion do I want? I want this onion. It's big onion. I'm going to use a lot of onion. So I'm going to put away the green onion. And maybe the avocado. I want to use this avocado though. Ah. Well, that wasn't compost. Always compost your compostables. Um. Okay. All right. And then we need to get the 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 secret stuff. So I'm gonna use this, 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 and this, and. Nope, I'm not gonna use that. And oil. Uh, let's see. For frying, uh, you wanna use like peanut oil, like if you do fried chicken, because I think it burns at a. I can't remember. But for stir fry, I don't use. I just use whatever oil I have. So I'm gonna be fancy and use some evil. Okay. Just turn on your fucking thing. There goes the fire. Ooh, ooh, wait. I'm not prepared. Ginger? I need garlic. I don't really need garlic. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of garlic salt. Uh, Alright, this is a shit ton of ingredients. I know how water in my kitchen. So I'm gonna put some stuff away. One, two. This will feed two. Two big people. This will definitely feed two people. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, so if you're hungry, got extra food. Um, so, we want, I haven't done stir frying in like a month or so. Wait, maybe longer. God, it's been like, it's been a while since I cooked. Like, I used to record videos of it a little bit, but, yeah, I'm excited. Um, ooh, this is a good space for, hold on. Found a hat. I'm gonna open the window because I like fresh air, but I might reclose it because there's construction. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the lighting. Get rid of that glare. Okay, that's good. And then how about some unnatural lighting? So now we can actually start. Uh, let's see who it is. Okay. We're ready. I showed you the ingredients. We're going to make the fire happen. Turn it to about halfway between on and off. Uh, I'll do that. Then. We first want to heat up the oil and the, the spices. So you pour the oil in. Kind of bleh, bleh, bleh it around. Uh, I'm going to use a whole bunch of liquid shit, so I'm just going to start pouring my shit in. I don't wait for the oil to get hot. That's not what you're supposed to do. But I can hear it sizzling, so that's okay. I'm going to turn it down a little bit so I can go slower. Okay. Uh, this is just your base of the flavor. So this is whatever you want, and and like the more you cook it, the more you know your flavor, what you like. Um, and once you learn how to cook for yourself, you can make 
anything. So, mmm, starting to smell like food. Put a little bit of ginger. Um. Okay. I'm going to start doing nice stuff in a second because I didn't start, I should have prepared. So we're going to turn off the oven, uh, the stove, and I'm going to chop. So let's make space for chopping. I am very bad at chopping. Okay. Use a little cutting board. Always use a cutting board. If you use a wooden one, make sure you wash it because when it's porous, it will filthy. You want to make sure things are clean. Woo, water. Wash that shit. Uh, woo. Use cold water. Hot water, if you live in an old place, can have lead-based pipes. Alright. Uh. That smells really good. I'm really hungry. Alright. There we go. Ceramic knife. Chip in the tip. That's my fault. It's being clumsy. Uh, just cut off your fucking onion. Just, just fucking, just fucking do it. Get in there. Uh, you're gonna waste some. That's the saddest part about an onion. I always feel, oh, I want more of this onion. I feel like I threw too much away. So that's why you compost shit. Cause then it rots into the ground and makes more tea. So just fucking rip it apart. Who cares? Good enough. Uh, compost. Right here. Throw that shit on the ground. Just throw it on the ground. Put it away. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do half an onion. I'm gonna do this for one person, so I'm gonna cut all my ingredients in half. Uh, broccoli in half. Uh, Broccoli and the onion are going to go into the thing first. So I'm going to put these to the side. I'm starting to cry. Uh, I'll just put these fucking... No, I won't put them there. Okay. I'm going to put them back in the crisper. So, no, just like there. Out of the crisper. If you want, if you start cutting up your vegetables and you want to use them again, put them in the crisper. Don't put them back in the crisper because you'll forget. You'll just be like, where's my food? And then, and then you'll just start eating pizzas, and your fruit will be rotten, and you'll feel terrible. Uh, this onion is killing me. Uh, compost. Just keep chopping extras. It's, it feels always wasteful to cook. There's always, there's always stuff you have to throw away, and that's why you compost food. Keep your knives clean. If you're in a drought, please conserve your water. Uh, I would recommend um, just having a bucket of water that's clean, put a little bit of soap in it, and have another bucket of, of clean water that's for rinsing, and then wash, rinse, dry. Wash, rinse, dry. And uh, it just saves a lot of water. Okay. Whoops. Oh, wait, no, I'm chopping stuff. Alright, um... Basil is gonna. I don't. I don't need basil. I don't like it. And I have a bunch of it. So let's see. Get your bowls. Get your mixing bowls. I'm ill prepared. These are my mixing bowls. They're colorful. This one's better. Okay. So I'm going to throw in the chives and the basil in here. It's fresh, so you can use more of it. I don't use the stems, but I'll think of, maybe I'll think of something to do with them. Maybe I won't. So I'm just gonna put them back in my in my basil holder and put that away. So my fridge is a mess. I need to cook these beans. Oh, I have tofu. I'm gonna cook all sorts of stuff. All right. Uh. Chives. I'm 
Uh, if all the stones get overwhelming, get some fresh air. Uh, don't drop your bowl on the ground, because it might fall on the kitchen floor, and then your food has to be thrown away because it's not fit for consumption. Uh. See, I got different ones. Okay. Uh, <laughs> throw the, I'm putting the chives away. Still smells really good, it's just warm now, so it's just like set in the mood. It's like an incense of spice. And let's see. I already use this. I already use this. I might use more of this. So we're gonna start start by chopping. We chopped up the stuff that goes in first first. <laughs> I learned this from another cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mix up the balls. Uh, just chop, chop up the, the broccoli. Just fucking do it. My broccoli the chopping is fucking awful. You want to put the onion in right before the broccoli and put them in at the same time because I want my broccoli to be softer. There's some shit. That is the first thing chopped. So we're gonna put this to the side, and the portobello is gonna go in a little bit later. Use a smaller chopping board if you have one. If you don't, just use a clean counter. Just wash it before you, you do it. Uh, so look at that. You just rip off his little. And you got a little hat. You can eat both. Lots of people don't like these. I have a superstition where I just cut off the bottom. Compost. Um. We're gonna slice this into like. This is gonna be the meat. This is, this is our meat replacement, so we're going to slice it like you would a steak. Um, and then, just this like, denser, so it'll probably take longer to cook, so you might want to just chop that in smaller pieces. Yeah. Be very careful. The proper way to cut is away from your hand. What I'm doing is very dangerous. You want to do your knuckles, knuckles, knuckles. I'm going to learn that eventually. Mix everything off. If you have a little holder for your knife, dry your knife as much as possible. And then... Protect it! That's just so you don't get hurt with it when you're fucking digging around in your... My hands are still here. Um... So that's the main shit. What are we gonna do? Okay, now we're gonna go back to the, uh, the stove. Oh yes, I remember you. Oh no! The pepper! Serrano pepper. These can't smell it on the outside. But on the inside, that's spicy. Seeds are what are the spiciest. If you're a baby like me, just take out some of the seeds. I'm using about half of it. Remember, I'm splitting everything in half because it's a meal for one. If you want to make a meal for two, double it if you want, and so on. Uh, if you don't know math, it's one plus one is two. Okay. Uh, let's see. I put away my sharp knife. I'm going to use a butter knife. Not recommended. It's so hard to cut the fucking thing. It's so nice. It's so dull. It's so bullshit. And then put it on your fire again. There's that fire. If you have an invective oven, those are really cool. But I got an old gas one. If you have a fire, you can cook. So, we're heating this up again. I want to heat up faster, so I make the fire hotter. Wait till it bubbles. Turn on the fire again. This is why gas stoves are cool. Uh, you can adjust it by sight. If you're blind, you can do it by sound, uh, but that's why I recommended um, an effective oven. 
So throw in the pepper squares. Wait a minute for those to get in the mood while you wait for that. Grab a thingy. What is a spoon? I don't know what it is. It's something. And it's made of wood, and I use it to stir the fry. Once that's small, my, my peppers aren't cut small enough, so I'm just kind of mashing them a little bit. Want it to burn. We're gonna use more oil. It's burning so always you can always use more oil. So try to conserve it. It's gonna be greasy. It's a fry. Um see? See how I am? I'm just like, oh I'll just fucking want more oil. Alright. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, vegetables! I want to be able to play music on this stream too, because I want to fucking listen to music right now. Uh. But I don't want you guys to have an echo. I'll figure that out later. I have the music of the construction. See, and if like shit's too big, just fucking make it smaller. It's like, just don't burn yourself. Ow, it's hot. Stop touching it. The more you cook, the more resilient your hands will be to heat. A lot of people like to test uh, how cooked the meat is by the temperature because they touch it with their lips because their lips are very sensitive. They're not like their hands. That's why you test water temperature with your elbow because the nerve endings. Your hands are actually not very sensitive. This is going to be very spicy. Uh, it's, I don't know. I really like Tapatio. I like, uh, I think it tastes good. Whatever. Um, yeah, we already put still in, so where is my step here? Thing, um, monitors keeps falling asleep, and I have to do this play settings. But I really need to be able to see what I'm doing. All right. It's, well, it's soy, so it's, it's soybeans, um, but salt, soy sauce, salty, I get, oops, that's not hot, that is not low salt, soy, I should have used the tamari, which is less salty, but, ah. garlic sauce. 
Some people call it sambal. Uh. You want to wait until your fucking onions start fall like this little guy. I right, cut it as well. You want to wait until your onions start falling apart from each other. That means they're softening and shrinking. That means they're getting cooked. Uh, so you just kind of leave it. What do we do? Oh! You step on a portobello mushroom. Poor baby. I don't even know what this- what is this? Oh, is it it's for a computer? Think you put hard drives in it? I don't know. Anyway. It's getting warm. Gotta change my clothes. When you're cooking, it's really good to wear clothes you don't really care about, or just old clothes in you, like stuff with holes in them. Uh, <clears throat> crap, you don't wear outside that often. Just, you know, because it's your kitchen. You should be comfy, and I think that's fair. Uh, but, like, be modest. Like, don't, you know, you don't have to go nuts. Uh, I'm using a plastic spoon now because it was here. I think it's time to throw the mushrooms in. It might not be, it might be too early, but if you were cooking, say, chicken, you this would be the same thing as you throw in the chicken, but you would have cooked the chicken previous. You cook the chicken, take it out, cook the vegetables, throw the cooked chicken in and finish it all up. With mushrooms, you don't need to cook them before eating them, so you can just toss it in at the end. But like, I mean, I went to the farmer's market. <coughs> yeah. And, um, <coughs> I'm quitting smoking. I'm just coughing a lot. That makes me feel like what I throw it. It's a lot. Okay. So, yeah, I have, like, chicken if I wanted it. Oh my god, I found strawberry ice cream. Oh my god, I found gravy. And, yeesh, I think I put one of these out of the freezer now. That's for baking, we'll do that later. Uh, still going. Normally you'd have your rice in a rice cooker. Remember I'm using leftovers, this is from yesterday. It's fucking hot in pictures. God. Ah. I'm gonna turn down temperature for my house. Waiting. This is a shitty part. This is a shitty part. We're just like, ah, oh, yeah. Mm. Looks like it needs some red. Ah, I found some cherry tomatoes. This is more I'm gonna do with the basil. And the chives that's putting at the end, I'm just gonna smash the tomatoes. Make less surface area, or make more surface area so they cook faster. Uh, be careful when you mash cherry tomatoes because they'll spray in your face! Ugh. Ugh. 
Basically, you're just making a salad to go on top of it. It's kind of mash it all together. It's filthy and disgusting. Wash your hands. There you go. Let's see if I can flip it. Nope, not very good yet. It's all in the rip. Yeah. It's not very good yet. Alright. It's 72. Uh. That's cooked enough for me. I cook for shitty teeth. Uh, dump that on top. That's just your salad. While you're waiting, you can clean your shit off. Man, child free is the way to be. You can just act like a kid all day. But you have to clean up after yourself. Uh, that's the worst part. <laughs> I love other people's kids though. I will always be like, hello children. But I won't talk to them on the internet. I won't fucking talk to kids on the internet. Oh my god. Uh... Now it's looking really delicious. I am excited to eat my food. Ow! Ow! It's heavy. Touch pad doesn't work when it's wet. Ah! Thanks for joining me. I'm literally unable to stop shooting because my finger is too 